What's up guys, this is Ishix and uh, this is another quick video here on the video series add-on spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about Zygor guides, the questing part of it. Um, I just want to say real quick, this add-on is not against Blizzard's terms and conditions. It is perfectly legal to use, no chance of getting banned using it. Um, there's a workaround to it. Basically Blizzard's uh, terms is that you can't use paid only add-ons. This add-on is technically free. Uh, if I think from like level 1 to 20 or something like that, so uh, it's kind of like a workaround, but it is free, so it is totally legal to use. You just have to pay for the guides, which is uh, what you'll have to look for, but um, you can get the full version for free all over Google. Just do a Google search for that. I cannot provide you guys with a download link for this one as for copyright issues, but uh, like I said, just do a quick Google search. You'll have no problem finding it, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to hop on a level 1 and go ahead and show you guys the basics, uh, what to look for, how to set it up, and how it works. Alright, see you then. Alright, so I'm here at the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and go to my add-ons folder, show you guys. You are going to have to install this manually. You can't get it on Curse or anything that will auto-install it for you. So just drag and drop the folder into your add-ons and you should be good to go. So I'm going to disable all the add-ons for this character and just enable Zygor, just so it's easy to do. And I'm going to log into this level 1 here. Um, right off the bat, it's going to pop over the screen, I'll show you guys here in a second, and basically just keep skipping through it, I'll show you what to do, but you don't really have to do the tutorial or anything, so it's, it's pretty self-explanatory and easy to use, so we'll skip that. Uh, so we're going to hit continue, go ahead and align it, this is where it's all going to show up, I usually like it on the right of my screen, just because that's where the quest uh, log usually is, so it's just easy, and hit new user, and I'm going to skip the tutorial, so hit let's go. Um, right off the bat, you see that there's the arrow here, so this is basically where you're going to be following stuff. Um, so the arrow will show you where to go, so it's saying we have to talk to Undertaker Mordo, and the arrow shows the direction he's in, so he's right that direction, which he's right in front of me. Um, it tells you what to do, go to the coordinate, and turn in fresh out of the grave, pick up shadow grave, so it'll turn in fresh out of the grave, pick up shadow grave, and you can see it just automatically updates. Um, so now it's showing you the items you have to get, and you can switch through. Um, you can in, uh, go ahead and make this screen bigger or smaller and back and forth. Uh, it shows you how many yards away you are from the item and the estimated time to arrive there, which is the estimated time is kind of over the top, not really necessary, but I guess it could be helpful if you're auto flying or something like that towards a quest. But uh, so far, you know, it looks nice, it's not too big, you can move it around as you please. Uh, I usually just use it how it comes like that, it's, it's fine for me, but um, it's just really step by step so it's really easy to follow, like it auto updates every time you accept something, and uh, it's pretty easy to look at. You can run it with a, pretty much any other add-on which is pretty cool, um, there's no really compatibility issues with that, I've never seen any so far at least, uh, so there's no problem um, you know, running a, all your normal add-ons with it. Uh, one add-on I had trouble with, I think it was, um, oh jeez, what was it, some transmog add-on and it said compatibility issue or something, I just turned it off, well, I didn't even use the add-on anyways, so that was no big deal, but for the most part it's really good to use and works out pretty fine. So I'm just going to wrap this part up here, go ahead and kill off some of these zombies in a second, there we go. Now I'll just show you guys a couple more options momentarily once I kill all these guys. Um, What's cool is it'll show you on the map too, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a little uh, movement dot. It'll show up on your mini map too, just where to go uh, for the crap, for the the uh, quest part of it, I mean. And it's just super, super easy to follow. I mean, you can just be brand new to the game and this can be just really easy. So it says here, to ta uh, talk to Undertaker Mordo again, turn in this quest. And I'll show you right here another part of uh, the add-on that's cool. It recommends you armor. So it reads your class, so I'm a hunter. Uh, it'll read your class, and in this case it has more armor, that's why it's choosing to take the gloves over the cloak. Uh, but it'll actually start taking your stats into account, of what level you are, what class you are, and it'll actually help you uh, get the better choice for what you're using depending on uh, if you're PvP or PvEing. And also has this, which is the auto-equip kind of thing, so it'll just ask you if you want to equip it. So I'll hit equip, and as you can see it is on the equip of my character. Um, Zagger guide, gear guides, if you have a bunch of gear, this is more for like high level, like level 90. And if you're in a dungeon, you can go ahead and equip all your crap just clicking with this. 
it'll recommend the best gear for you for where you're at which is also pretty helpful and uh, a couple other things they got the options here which you can change the look of and shit um, I think it's pretty fine how it comes this the regular so I'm just gonna leave it how that is but there's a lot of options you can change how you want to get the waypointing going and stuff but I like to keep it pretty much exactly how it comes it works perfectly fine you don't really need to screw with it at all and that's pretty much the basics of it uh, there is a couple actually extra guides if I can find it here wonder where I put it hmm. oh, there we go uh, you can do lore master so it'll pick up where you left off even if you haven't had the add-on before it'll actually read where all your quests are done and you can finish lore master with that it'll help you with dailies events all this crap getting titles pets and mounts farming stuff like that but what's cool is uh, once you finish the zone, which is the guide progress, so once it hits 100%, you'll, it'll load the next guide for you, depending on where your level is. It'll switch over, and but you can do it manually if you don't like the zone. So saying I want to go to Duratar instead of doing the uh, Thristful Glades one here. I didn't even flip that. So I can go ahead and hit Duratar, uh, do the Orc Zone, and accept that. And it just telling me to go to the Orc Zone right now and talk to this guy. So if you look at the thing, it shows you the exact path to go. So you have to go out the gate, go to the Zeppelin, to Orgamar, and it'll take you across the water, all the way to here, and then you run down the path. It's pretty self-explanatory. But it's just really cool because it helps you actually get to places if you don't know how to get there, which is also helpful. And so that's pretty much the basics of it. I don't really get into too much detail uh, about the whole add-on, but that's pretty much just how to use it and so uh, yeah so you guys should give it a try and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my final thoughts on it alright so I just want to take you guys my final thoughts of the add-on um, it looks great first of all you can change the colors of the frames and everything so it can match any add-on set if you have so there's no problem with that uh, it performs amazingly uh, it's really easy to follow step by step it's pretty much foolproof um, what's really nice about it is that uh, it doesn't have many problems bug wise uh, I think I had that one compatibility issue, other than that, nothing else other than a couple uh, UI reloads just from it not going to the next step or whatever, uh, but nothing major, uh, didn't have to reinstall it at any point, it worked nice, uh, always has for me, and uh, which is always great, uh, nice reliable. I think that maybe the problems were with the UI is that I don't actually have the official version so it might be a little uh, buggy for that reason, I'm not really sure. But I for sure have it updated to MOP right now and it's working great uh, as I leveled one of my characters to 90 with it, uh, my Death Knight that is, and that was just perfectly good, no problems with that. Um, I think the add-on is really good overall, probably give it like a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, it's just amazing. Uh, I know it's really, you know, like they have a lot of websites that like spam their links everywhere, uh, trying to get you to buy it and all this other crap. But you know what? It it honestly is a really good add-on. I mean, that's kind of annoying, of course, but just like Gold Tycoon, I mean, they're both like advertised everywhere, all over the place. But they are both actually pretty helpful add-ons. This more so than Gold Tycoon, which is just great. So that's pretty much my review for the add-on here. Uh, I tried to be as honest as I could with it, not trying to make it sound better than it actually is. But this add-on overall is just great. I can't really say that much more. You guys know what I mean. But um, yeah, so I want to say thanks for guys for watching. Go ahead and drop a comment if you enjoyed the video. Of course, rate it and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, check out my channel for more videos and add-on reviews, including gold guides and some PvP stuff. Alright guys, take it easy. Peace.